All you need to know when you're trying to graph a parabola, when you're given the vertex and the focus, is to understand the orientation of your parabola. Does it open up, down, left, or right, as well as the value of P? Now, the best way that I had, the best way I teach my students to be able to do that is to simply just plot this information. Like if you're given vertex, that's a point. And if you're given the focus, that's a point. So plot them on an X, Y coordinate, right? Unless, unless you're trying to, if you're not doing that, like it becomes very difficult at times to kind of understand exactly what's going on with the problem. So if I was going to graph the vertex here, it's going to be a point again, negative two up three. So go to the left, negative two, and then go up three. Okay. And then I like to put a V right next to it. So I understand that is the vertex, right? That's the highest. Um, or the lowest or most left or most right um, version of my parabola. And then I have my focus, which is going to be at negative four, three. So negative one, two, three, four, and then up three. Okay, so that is going to be my focus. Now, the reason why this is so important is because what do we know about the relationship between our vertex and our focus? The most important thing is we under that we know about that relationship is that the vertex always opens up towards the focus always. So now that we know that we actually have a parabola that's opening up to the left. Now, before we get into like the, the importance of it opening up to the left, the main important thing I want you to understand is this is what we call a horizontal parabola, right? So therefore we need to use a special equation. Now, when you're studying quadratics, you remember that was a vertical parabola, either opened up or opened down. And what was important about that was the X was squared. So if we're going to be dealing with a horizontal parabola, we can now say that our y is going to be squared. And yes, the general equation here for a horizontal parabola is going to be y minus a k quine squared is equal to a 4p times an x minus an h. Just remember always h is with x and k is always with y. That's a very, very important thing. Students still kind of get that mixed up there. Um, all right. So then we need to understand, well, again, what is that p, right? So p, remember guys, p is going to be your distance from your vertex to your focus. So we just need to be able to count this. Like how far is it from the vertex to the focus. And you can say that's going to be a value of two. It is, but distance and direction are important here. So we're going two, but we're going two to the left. So my P in this case is actually going to be a negative two. And also remember that the vertex here is going to be your H and your K. So that is going to be my H and my K right there. So now what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to plug in all this information and then we can go ahead and simplify because again, we found the orientation. The orientation allowed us to write the equation. And then the only other thing missing that we needed to know was our value of P. So we have Y minus a K, which is going to be a three. Quine squared equals a four times P, which is now a negative two. And then X minus H. So again, be careful here. Make sure you're using your parentheses. So X minus a negative four. Okay. And I'm running out of space. So I'll go ahead and move that over just a little bit longer. Sorry about that. All right. So now let's just go ahead and simplify. So four times negative two, which is going to be a negative eight. So I have a Y minus three quine squared equals a negative eight times an X plus four. And that is going to be your equation of your parabola. If you're looking for more examples, if this was helpful, I'll see you in the next video.